First, I have to say I'm in awe and I'm inspired by everyone who has shared this stage with me tonight. Thank you so much. It really is amazing that we can eliminate some of the silos involved with jumping on with 3D technology by just sharing information. You know, as I'll share with you as we move along, it's key communication at every step of the way with all of your partners, with everybody who you want on that playing field is number one most important tool. So when the Browseware people asked me to talk about my enthusiasm for 3D, I did promise them that I would do my best to keep my enthusiasm within the allocated timeline. So I hope I can do that for you. Um, let me start by telling you who we are at Full Beauty Brands. If you're not a plus size shopper, you don't necessarily know who we are. But we are the number one most successful direct to customer plus size garment company in the world. We, have parent com we are the parent company for Women Within, Jessica London, Romans, and King Size, just to name a few. We offer sizes from 12 to 44, and for men we go all the way up to 10XL. There's something wrong with this slide. <laughs> Let me tell you about one of our greatest wins. It is our vendor partnership. It has been key for us. I just spent the last year going to Shanghai, uh, Qingdao, Delhi, Dhaka, and Mauritius, and Madagascar to meet all of our factory partners and to try to get them on board with 3D. And at this point, I can tell you that we have 60% of our factories who are submitting virtual samples. 25% have completed training and parallel fit sessions, and another five have just purchased software, and they will be also contributing virtual samples for us. This, honestly, is my number one biggest win for the last year. Where we are. Our tech design team is all trained in 3D, and there are various levels of success. Uh, we're currently working with analyzing virtual fit, and we're just moving forward as fast as we can. The executive suite, design, and merchant partners are all behind us. This is a big win. It's not easy to get in front of your business and to try to sell the 3D tool for them. As it was mentioned earlier, they don't want to hear promises. They want to see dollars saved. We have the full support from the executive suite, and our goal is to have a sustainable 3D process in 2020. We're very close to getting there, and I think we're going to make it. Why we chose Browseware. If you're here tonight, you're thinking of getting a glass of Kool-Aid, you're holding the glass of Kool-Aid, or you've taken a few sips of the glass of Kool-Aid. If you're holding that glass in your hand, you already know some of these things. It's more approachable and user-friendly than what we call uh, software A. Paired with StyleZone, we could easily incorporate our workflow. That means that everybody who had any kind of hands-on for any of the 3D process could easily communicate with the other with one simple tool. Full Beauty Brands is not in the business of pattern making. Though there are people out there who are making pattern making part of their process, we pass this off to our vendors to make our patterns for us. So we were not looking for a pattern making tool. Also, the majority of our team felt that the virtual samples created with Browseware were much closer to what the physical sample really looked like. Last, the fabric analyzer. Uh, very important part of it. You need two things to make uh, 3D assets work for you. A very good DXF file and a uh, fabric that has the right um, physics. The fabric analyzer gets you there. And we had design team buy-in. When we showed them software A, they were unimpressed, and they quickly pulled away from 3D software. Benefits. We're at the, we have the right tool at the right time. We're more agile in our development process. We've increased our efficiency. We have a more fluid and trans, uh, transparent connection to our partners. There are great advantages to fit. We've reduced the number of physical samples. We've eliminated duplications of effort. And in this business, you know, a lot of us do the same thing over and over and over again. Our agents do it, our factories do it, and we, we repeat the process. Shake, rinse, do it three more times. It's a great for a design-driven company. It's great if you're designing from blocks, and we are a block-based business at Full Beauty Brands. We are eventually planning on eliminating photo samples, and we're also using the tool for customer surveys that affect our buy. 
we're putting out a whole colorway of uh, leggings with different prints and making them choose before we even select these prints for our factories to produce. Your first steps. I could spend this whole night telling you what we did wrong. That's not going to work. I'd rather tell you what we did right and what we should have done right. First of all, examine your current workflow. Make sure you can identify different spots in the workflow that you can plug in your 3D tool. It's important to do that way up front before you look at any software at all. Where are the advantages? Where are the gains? The next part, it takes a village. It really does. And back to communication, you need to share with absolutely everybody that you plan on partnering with with this tool. You need to get them at the table and start the conversation with them. At every step of the way, you need to continue that conversation with them because you're going to get to a point where everybody has to act. Everybody has to make a decision. And you want them to be informed from the get-go. You want them to feel like they're part of that recipe. See demos from multiple software partners. You've probably already done this. You probably have looked at two or three softwares. Um, see, uh, select two tools to compare in a parallel pilot before you select one. Purchase after the pilot. See a clear timeline with critical cornerstones. Don't give yourself an open-end pilot. You're not going to make a decision. There's always another tool. There's always another option. Um, Product development workflow. What we've gained from this, this is our previous workflow. Product development cycle from concept to distribution center is 37 weeks. That's what we've worked with for several years. Fit cycle is 10 weeks. That's when we get that initial sample to approval. We usually go through two to four physical samples, and we have the first opportunity for brands to see the collection at week number 22. What has 3D software done for us? with a more collaborative process. We've cut down to 24 weeks. Our fit cycle is down from 10 to five weeks. We can do it in one or two physical samples, and the first opportunity for the brands to see the complete collection is in week 10. If you've done the math, that's almost half for everything, and that's a big win for everybody along this line. Your next steps, establish a 3D implement implementation team Recognize early buy-in from very specific people. Not everybody will buy in. There will be fear and there will be excitement. You should be able to understand and recognize the difference between fear on your team and excitement on your team. That's an easy one. Compare at least two 3D software programs. Offer regular updates to your design partner. Back of the table, more communication. This is what we're doing. This is what we've achieved. This is what we're heading. Keep the decision makers in the loop. They don't want to be the last to know. Create checklists that identify software strengths. After careful consideration, move forward with one 3D tool. We spent a year working with two 3D tools. It was very Game of Thronesy. <laughs> there were people migrating to one side, migrating to the other, moving back and forth. There were whispers about the better program, whispers about the worst program. It stops your progress. Choose one 3D tool. There will be resistance. I know you've seen this slide before, but this is the one that most accurately represents the kind of resistance that you're going to get. There are people in this business who have been doing the same thing the same way for 25 to 30 years. They don't want you telling them there's a quicker, easier way to do it. What about their experience? What about what they're bringing to the table? Is this going to eradicate all the experience that they've worked on their whole lives? It's not that. Your next steps, proof of concept. Continue to share your uh, findings. Identify one or two key product categories. Start small. You can't really do it all at once. You have to prove this to yourself first, to the people sitting at the table, and also to the people that you want to invite to the table. Always keep your possible 3D workflow in mind, refining the process as you move along. It's going to change. What you imagined it was going to be at the beginning is nothing like what it's going to end up like when you think you're at the end. In this process, you're not really at the end, ever. Give yourself a definitive timeline for proof of concept. There too, if you have parameters for your goals, you'll get to them faster. 
your next step, and it's the last word. It's all about communication, which leads me to a tool that I really like from Browseware. It's StyleZone. When we were trying to sell this tool up to people, we were showing them initially what the software program did. We were clicking from one corner point to the next corner point. We lost the designers. We were clicking from this corner point to that corner point. We lost the executives. Nobody wanted to see that. What they wanted to see was that finished product. And I found early on that if I could populate StyleZone with all the work that we were doing, that we could easily sell this product, this 3D product, to all of our partners at the table. So if you're not using StyleZone yet, or if you're thinking about whether you should use StyleZone, it is a very key ingredient to your process. So I hope I've been able to give you some ideas if you still have that glass of water in your hand I, or that glass of Kool-Aid. I hope I've given you something to think about and that I've maybe brought that glass a little closer to your lips. Cheers. <laughs>